Hi, my name is Caroline Marks. I'm 18 years old and I'm serving for Team USA. I have a huge family, I'm one of six, and I'm right in the middle, and I pretty much grew up with like all boys. Dude, we grew up in Florida, obviously, we had this huge house, like this big land, and uh, we had a half pipe and a full motocross track and everything, so we kind of just like, we're just like that active family. We lived right across the street from the beach, and I've always been super, super competitive, just like on my own. I used to horseback ride, and something I was super competitive in. You know, my older brother used to compete in, on the QS, and. I kind of just thought like surfing was his thing and like horseback riding was my thing, but I just really, really wanted to be like them and I really wanted to impress them and think I was cool. So I think in order to do that, I was like, okay, I guess I got to start surfing and start surfing really good for them to think I'm cool. And all of a sudden I like just flipped a U-turn and started surfing and then like completely dropped horseback riding. I truly believe I wouldn't be where I'm at today without them. I started surfing when I was about nine years old. I turned pro when I was 15. Getting on the tour at 15, you know, you're still such a grom. I feel like still I'm such a grom, like I'm only 18, but the girls I was competing against are girls that I've had like posters on my wall and that I watched every single day and studied their surfing. And then pretty funny though now, cause you, they're all my heroes and I like respect all the women so much, but now you're just like, okay, I just really want to beat these people <laughs> and I just really want to smoke them. It's like a funny thing. In 2020, I graduated high school, so that was one of the good things about 2020. And I definitely didn't have a normal high school life, that's for sure. No prom, no winter formal, not, none of that. In my head, if you're not winning, you're learning. So especially only being 18, I have so much to learn. And traveling is something you can't learn, learn in a book, you know what I mean? And there's so many things that I've seen at such a young age, and there, I feel like I've gotten to see the world in third world countries and really been able to like appreciate where I live and what I have and things like that. And that's something you can't just learn in a book until you actually see it. I think a strong junior and amateur career is huge. You know, if you really look at like the history of everyone that's done good as an amateur and a junior, you know, almost all of them are on the tour right now or, or world champion even. You know, when I won the ISA, I think what made it so special is that the whole team was behind me and I won and my brother was on the team with me, which was so sick and him and my dad carried me up the beach and got a gold medal and they raised that flag and that was pretty amazing. And out of the gates, Caroline Marks, one of the standouts yesterday on day one. She had the highest two-wave total. When I went to Japan with the team, it was really cool because uh, we were there all day supporting everyone. And I think that gets you really, really excited because you're like rooting for your friends, but you're also trying to win too and flying the flag. And it's just like gets you kind of like really psyched. The ISA opening ceremony was super cool. I've never done something like that. And you know, everyone there was saying like little taste of what the Olympics is like, which is so crazy. Cause I like, I got the chills. It was seeing all the teams and things like that was like so amazing. I traveled a ton before COVID actually happened. And um, I remember I went to Tahiti and it was like the first time I got off the plane and they temperature checked me. And I remember I was like, oh my God, this is so weird. And, Little did I know, a couple weeks after I got back from Tahiti, everything shut down and all the beaches were shutting down. It was pretty crazy and I was like, oh my God, and then they were canceling events. You know, I think the one thing about surfing is like you have to be really, really good at adapting. So I think with COVID, you know, obviously there's so much uncertainty and there's so much, so many things that you don't know that are gonna happen. I think for me, I'm just trying to like live in the moment and be the best version of me every single day, like work on my surfing every day and work on my training every day. And, um, anything that'll help me get better and just um, just kind of like enjoy being in the moment. So when I qualify for the Olympics, I remember paddling out to my round of 16 heat with Coco. And I remember if I made that heat, I'd qualify for the Olympics and it gives me the chills. I was in the water and I won the heat. And you know, it's the best feeling ever when you're actually in the water and, and you just did it and you just won that heat and you feel so fulfilled. And my favorite part though is when my, my whole entire family was on the cliff, they're all like really excited and no better feeling than sharing that moment with them. Take a deep breath and take all this in. For sure. Number two in the world. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've had such an amazing support crew behind me, my family, my coach, my friends, and I think that's been really, really important. Don't let my head get too big. My brothers always are like, no, we're keeping you so humble, which is so great, you know, and to really, really be grateful and really appreciate like where I'm at and what I have. And um, that's kind of the way I've been raised. So I'm pretty grateful for that.